Hey guys, thanks for joining me again here on the Guru Brew. You know, I get asked the question all the time, what kind of antivirus program should I buy and should I run? Well, for me, I like Microsoft Antivirus. It's called Microsoft uh, Security Essentials. Uh, there's a couple reasons why I like it. The first one is it's free, there's no cost. You can just download it and use it on any uh, registered Windows compatible computer. The second reason why I like it, it doesn't take a lot of system resources and it runs smoothly on lower processing speeds. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you how to install it on your machine. here we are at my machine. Now before I install this and show you how it's done, um, I've seen time and time again where um, customers have put more than one uh, antivirus software program on their computer and I'd like to say that this is not a good idea. Before installing a new antivirus program you should go into your control panel of your computer and remove all traces of old antivirus software programs only one should be allowed to run at a time the reason why this is is because often if you have multiple copies of antivirus programs they'll fight with each other and each one thinks that the other one is a virus with that being said after you've cleaned off all the other antivirus programs using your control panel you can go to a google page and type in uh, microsoft antivirus or security essentials and look for the Microsoft page that offers that you'll come to a page that looks like this you just click on the download and then find your language to your left here and then follow it across and will ask you to select your version uh, the, the choices are um, 32 or 64 bit windows if you don't know if you have a 32 or a 64 bit operating system and machine there's something that you can do it's quite easy to figure that out if you go to the start uh, tab and you click on the run button and you type in winmsd.exe hit ok it'll bring up your system information and if you look down through this list you'll see a processor and if your processor has an x86 next to it, like mine does, then you have a 32-bit operating system. If you see something that looks like IA64 or AMD64, then you have a 64-bit operating system. So in my case, I have the 32-bit operating system, so I should select the XP version, 32-bit operating system, hit the download button, save the file I'll just put it on my desktop for now it's about 10 meg in total once it's downloaded I can right click and open run next accept the licensing terms after reading them I'll answer the question about joining the experience improvement program next keep this button clicked about the firewall and then hit next install it will take a few minutes and then after it has installed it will want to check your computer once all the way through uh, to be sure that there's no viruses on it before you install this program and then you'll be good to go and it will just live down in the system tray as soon as this is installed I will uh, show you the rest of the procedure Hang on. okay the program has finished installing so I'm going to leave this button clicked where it says to scan my computer and click next At this point in time, it's going to see if there's any updates to the virus definitions. 
and it will download them and install them if it finds any. At this point if you'd like to you can minimize this window you don't have to leave it open and it will come back and tell you when it's ready to do something else which is nice too. It's just finished downloading. I'm waiting for the program to finish installing. Once the installation is finished, uh, down here in the system tray you will see it looks like a little tent with a flag on it. And that means that it is now protected and any um, threats that come through will come out of this area. At this time what it's doing is it's scanning my computer once over to be sure that there are no viruses on it currently and then this screen will go away and it will only pop up if a security threat happens. Occasionally it will ask if you would like to uh, scan my uh, system which you should answer yes because you should do that from time to time. And this, in a nutshell, is how you install Microsoft Security Essential. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, um, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Have a good day. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.